everyone assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh welcome to this session of blockchain and cryptocurrency my name is abul fathi ibrahim uh, in this uh, uh, session i will explain the difference between cryptocurrency and blockchain and uh, bitcoin uh, most of the people they misunderstand the difference between these two terminology the bitcoin and blockchain the blockchain is distributed ledger technology while the bitcoin is digital payment system bitcoin is just as to say something like application of the blockchain technology it's just something like email and internet or operating system and application within the operating system so the first cryptocurrency in the world is bitcoin and the bitcoin code was released on january 2009 bitcoin now used by millions of people for payment for example companies that accept bitcoin uh, paypal google microsoft and many other companies accept bitcoin now so the cryptocurrency is the general name on that cryptocurrency we have different type of currencies for example the first one is bitcoin the first cryptocurrency in the world is bitcoin so after that we have many other we have litecoin we have something like ethereum we have cardano we have ADA. so those are the types of cryptocurrencies that we have and the blockchain technology so now we know that bitcoin is not blockchain and blockchain is the underlying technology for the bitcoin if we look at the current financial system now the transaction that occur within the financial system there is a lot of uh, central authority or there is third party when someone want to uh, want to uh, send money from a to b or from a to c for, for example so need to pass through these intermediaries so we have intermediaries as these intermediaries could be bank or could be any other institution uh, multiple intermediaries and record keeping are required to facilitate transfer of asset and create trust so this blockchain create trust for the current financial system for example when you need to transfer a money with the blockchain technology no need for third party no need for any intermediary you'll just transfer your money let us look at the uh, blockchain system the blockchain is the distributed ledger technology that shared source of information it means that when you have information here it will be replicated to the whole network of the blockchain technology this will be very difficult for someone to uh, change the data or to add something without any consensus in the network that's the reason they say that it's peer-to-peer -peer transaction using digital tokens to represent asset and value we have different kind of transactions so what is the block we know the blockchain is the digital or is the distributed ledger that used to store everything of value virtually so multiple transaction records uh, time and data the block contain permanent data record on the blockchain on the blockchain so here as you like i have one example here today is 5 april 2020 11 a.m for example but introduction to blockchain this is the information so this information represented by this hash so this hash is a security under the cryptography that gives the blockchain technology trust and give the crypto uh, the blockchain technology 
uh, it will make for someone very difficult to change this block. So how this block work? If you look at here, multiple block chain together. So assume like I have two block now. Block one, 5 April 2020, 11 a.m. So you look at this hash. So this hash represent this information for block one. Also block two, in order to add another block to block one, I have to use the previous hash of the block one. If you look at the block one, start from F6, N with a D. You look here, block two, F6, a D. It means it will take the previous hash function plus another new data, then it will bring another data. So that's the reason if you look here, block one. Block one uh, usually doesn't have any previous hash function. They call it Genesis block. So block two, so definitely if you have information here, block one will generate hash. So in order for block two to be added, we have to use the previous hash function. We have two types of blockchain, public blockchain and private blockchain. The public blockchain, it means that all the participants, they will have access to the information there. For example, assume like the Bitcoin blockchain. The Bitcoin, the transaction, everyone will read it. So it will be uh, open and transparent for the whole community. While the private blockchain, it is just blockchain that used to control by organization. For example, assume like we have some companies, hospitals, or some, uh, some any other institution that they used to use private blockchain. We have some of private blockchain like Hyperledger that just they will design it and they will just give permission to specific group in the blockchain technology. So how blockchain work? As in like someone requests a transaction, the transaction will be broadcast to the world peer-to-peer -peer networks, call it as not. So then this transaction will, uh, will be used to verify it with some algorithms like consensus algorithm, any other algorithm that you use, it depends on the transaction. As in like here, we have the block is already authenticated and validated, then it will be added, then transaction is completed. But the transaction could be smart contract, could be a record or other information. But cryptocurrency, we you know cryptocurrency has no intrinsic value. Some cryptocurrency, some they argue that they have intrinsic value. But the most important thing, the cryptocurrency is something virtual, has no physical form, is intangible. So how Bitcoin works? In order for you to have Bitcoin, so you have to download a wallet. If you download e-wallet, you will have two keys, which is private key and public key. In order for you to transfer amount of Bitcoin to your friend, so you have to ask him his uh, public key. So you use his public key and then transfer the Bitcoin. Also vice versa, he or she will use the public key then to send you back the money. So how, this is the uh, way block, this is the way Bitcoin transaction works. So we have different type of wallet. We have hot wallet, we have cool wallet, we have desktop wallet, and we have mobile wallet. It depends on your choice. Use case of blockchain technology. As we know that we have blockchain, the normal one for the Bitcoin. And also we have some use cases for the blockchain. Blockchain can be implemented in different areas, not only Bitcoin. The Bitcoin is also application of blockchain technology. So blockchain can be adopted in, in banking industry to make the transaction impact in bank 
cheaper, faster, and simpler. For example, now, if we look at the current transaction in the normal bank, for example, if you want to transfer some amount of money from your country to other country, or from A to B, it will take some time, weeks, three days, but with blockchain, it is transparency because of the confidentiality and integrity and the security within the blockchain mechanism. So blockchain, it helps bank. Also blockchain, it helps in the supply chain management, can be monitor logistic, track, verify, assume like from raw materials, supplier, manufacturing, distribution, retail, customer. So all the processes will be uh, shared within this participant. They will know what is going with the uh, uh, materials. So can be tracked easily, certified, trusted, and then no any proud. Blockchain technology in healthcare industry. You know that whenever we use blockchain in healthcare industry, it means the patient will have his own, uh, own privatization of his personal data. He will have his access for the data. For example, if he travel to anywhere in the world, he can access his data. So here, assume like we have doctors, pharmacies, insurance, or institution, or any other participant in the healthcare industry, they will be highly connected and share their data in an easily and efficient and safer manner because of the cryptography technique that power the blockchain technology. Thank you very much. And if you have any uh, comment, please don't forget to, uh, uh, to, to, to put it down here. And inshallah, I will uh, back to you. Thank you.